What's up guys, this is Steve Mantan here, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak on the 5.1 firmware for all iOS devices included in the description below, just in case there's um, any more updated for this firmware. Um, those will be available down below, like I said. Alright, so first you want to open up your iTunes, um, and you're going to want to install the latest version. And once you have the latest version, you are going to sync all your stuff, save everything so everything's backed up. If you're playing on jailbreaking, you're going to go into Tiny Umbrella, save your SHSH files on 5.0 or any other firmware you were on. Just in case you don't like 5.1, you can go back to any firmware you would like and uh, preserve your baseband if you want also. That's also in there. So uh, just mess around with those settings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a video in the description below um, on any firmware, how to save your SHSH files, I break it down for you to show you how to do it on Windows and Mac. So now let's get started. So once you got your uh, device fully restored, which I suggest you do for the best outcome, um, especially if you were previously jailbroken, you're going to want to close out iTunes after that's all done. And... You're going to go into your programs folder, and you're going to pull out the new version of Red Snow, which will also be in the description, also with the link to firmware that you can download that you need for this. Okay, so the, really, the latest version right now is 0 0.9.10 beta 6, and that might change once new devices are added for this jailbreak. And just a reminder, this jailbreak is tethered, unfortunately, which means that you'll have to plug in your device and reboot it with Red Snow itself every time that you want to reboot your device or your device dies. So, unfortunately, it's like that, but I will update you guys in the description below when there's an untethered jailbreak, alright? So, now let's get on with the jailbreak. Uh, you're going to go into Extras for me, and you're going to select your, for IPSW it says, uh, right now I have this. This is where the Felix Bruns link down below will come into play. Um, you're going to grab this firmware and hit open. Now it's going to tell you it's going to use this firmware uh, the whole time this session is open. So you're going to hit back and then jailbreak. Make sure your device is plugged in at this point. And we're just waiting for the patching the kernel. And you're just going to want to install Cydia for now. Um, if you're obviously advanced at this, you can enable any of that information, but really not needed. Hit Next. And it says Connect to Normal Mode. And it's going to tell you once you hit DFU Mode, which I'm going to tell you how to do right now. So you're going to slide to unlock, hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds together, and then release the power button and keep holding the home button for another 15 seconds. So I'm just going to do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now you should be good. You should see your screen flash. Let's wait for the reboot here. And there we go, we're uploading the RAM disk. Um, so I'm going to come back when this is done. This does take a little bit. And now your device should be re rebooting. Um, so it's all good. And we're just waiting on the reboot. And uh, yeah, like I said before, I have links for everything in the description. All you need uh, firmware, uh, you need Tiny Umbrella and Red Snow. And this does work for Windows and Mac. Just letting you know. So like I said before, any devices that aren't available right now can be available at a later date. Just keep checking the description. I'll update for you. So you're going to slide to unlock. Oops, sorry. Hit a folder. And you're going to flip over. Let's see. And you see right here um, on top, see the icon is white and it will automatically close. And sorry about that. And you hit OK. This is just explaining to you again. This is a tethered jailbreak. Um, so you hit cancel. And go back into Red Snow. 
And you're going to hit jailbreak again. Uh, uh, choose your firmware again. Sorry about that. Open. Okay. And you're going to write just boot tether now and put it back into DFU mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it's going to patch the files. This doesn't take as long. It just pretty much uh, runs over the previous jailbreak that you just did and uh, makes it tethered, which is unfortunate. But um, I figured I'd put out this video since the uh, iPad, which I am getting, will be out next week. And that's only what uh, looks like we're going to get for right now until the developers make something else. But hopefully we'll get another uh, jailbreak in the future. So you're just going to see a little pineapple here. And here we go. Uh, my phone just beeped, and we should be up and running now. It's booting up. Like I said, this only took about 15 seconds or so. Just give it time. Um, and then you're just going to flip over. And now you should see a brown city icon. And what you want to do is hit developer. That will help you with your SH, SH files that you did before doing this jailbreak. And you hit done. And there you go. It's going to load up Cydia for you. So hopefully this helped, guys. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't on Tether Jailbreak, but uh, this will help with the jailbreaking of the iPad 3 or the, iPad, the new iPad. Um, and, yeah, so comment, rate, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.